welcome to this tutorial on Motors Dimba and today I'm going to show you how we can apply filters in Tecla structures especially on a, on a huge project on a huge project or or a bigger project uh, this is not a bigger project and on big projects it it, it, it becomes tedious and time consuming maybe if you're told maybe or maybe you want to to generate the quantities of, of a particular member in this particular case you want to generate uh, the quantities for the secondary beam in this particular case so how do you how do you approach this do you go item by item counting one by one it's actually time consuming and that's where the filters comes in handy now let me just show you how you can apply that and how you can define the rules for your filters to work much better for you now if you open your model on technical structures just double click on the screen so so the moment you double click on, on the screen you will have these in place you have view properties in place and we just go straight to object group click on the object object group and this object group view filter will come up so now this is the this is the place where we define the rules on on what to be seen or what not to be seen so in here i'm going to create new filters so once i've clicked on new filters i'm going to add an uh, add a row so in inside the row we have category inside the object view filter we have categories of items we have the category property condition and value so under category we have if you click on this drop down list we have all this you have the parts component bolts weld reinforcing bar surface assembly all that under under category and under name we have profile material finish prefix and for now we are going to use we are going to apply only the name and on the conditions we have conditions here equal doesn't equal begins doesn't doesn't begin with so under value is where you enter the name of the part you want to filter out now let's just get started and i'm going to select on that row or check on or check on that row so i'm going to pick on the on the value section and click on the drop down on the drop down arrow right there so i'm going to select on this i want to select or filter or select my filters or select the parts that i want to to be to be included in this row in this rule so i'm going to pick on i want to pick from the model i'm going to pick this particular member here so if I pick on it, its name will appear here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign a name for it. So I'm going to give it, give it maybe S underscore beam, okay, beam, right there. So I've assigned this to that. So I'm going to give it savers right there. So what I'm, I've just done wrong, I'm going to, in, um, I want to click on this. I want to include. Uh, under model, I want to include uh, selection filter, object re representation. So I want to these rules. I'm I'm tr I'm trying to define here to apply to all this. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check all this, and close. So once I've checked on all that, I'm going to click save us. So that will apply to the three. So I'm going to minimize that. So and go continue adding the rules and uh, and. Uh, defining the rules so i'm going to select on that on, on the second row i'm going to pick from the model and I'm, I'm going to add this one also i'm going to pick on the main beam and i'm going to give a, a, a description there maybe i'll put m and that will be main beam and i'm going to click save so if i save will apply to all selection uh, filters view filters and object representation now I'm going to add another row and click on that and pick from the model. I'm going to select from the model. So I'm going to pick on the rafters here. Let me pick maybe on the rafter here. Pick on the rafter there. So I'm going to pick on the main rafter. Give it main rafter. Rafter there. So I'm going to click save us. So I'm going to add another row right there. And I'm going to define. I'm, I'm going to select from them, from the model. I'm going to pick this, and that will be added. I'm, I'm going to add this as uh, annex rafter. Just uh, type annex. Just type annex. So that will be that. So if I come here and add another row, and select from model and I'm going to pick on the cable this one will be cable after on the cable section cable that so I'm going to click save so I'm going to add another 
row and I'm going to select from the from the model and I'm going to select now on the B on the on the palings I'll select on the palings so under palings I'll just uh, get rid of that just delete that and then maybe put palin palin one or you will just give it a zero one or zero two and click save us I'm giving zero two because uh, I'm 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 assuming or uh, I'm suspicious that there must be uh, an, another part that has this name palin so I, I don't want to clash when I'm defining the rule now I'm going to add another one let me just ensure that I've saved it I'm going to add another rule here and in here I'm going to click on that drop down uh, drop down arrow list click on that and I'm going to pick on the palette on, on the bracing click on the bracing or roof bracing so I'm going to add here R brace underscore brace I'm going to save that like that I'm going to add another row here and I'm going to define another part and select from the model and I'm going to select on the rods uh, uh, anti sag rods so anti sag rods I'm going to add here anti sag or rods anti sag rods rods zero one because I don't any number any or, or one of these names or one of these abbreviations to or one of these descriptions to clash with the other so I'm going to click save us so I'm going to add another row because another, I want to define or map out another member I'm going to select from the member I'm going to select from the model and I'm going to pick on the column on this particular column so I'm going to add another here and another one here I'm going to type in column column zero two and I'm going to add, click save us so I'm going to add another one and click on the drop down arrow list and pick from the model and I'm going to pick on the bracings here so I think this is enough and if now we pick on the base plate let's pick from the base pick the base plates here so these are the base plates and now come here and maybe just type B underscore plate plate maybe zero one and I'll go ahead and click save so let's check whether we have the base plates in place so the base plates are the same so what I'm going to do I'm going now just to close this I'm going to close this I'm going to close this because I've saved everything I'm going to close this so if I close this and come to representation here, I'll be able to do to I mean to check whether I have my representation of that. I'm going first of all to add another row here. Let me just add another row here. Add a row and let me check that if we have what we've defined. We have everything we've defined here, and that one will apply that later on. So let me just close that and double click once again and come to object so first of all before we proceed let's check we'll see whether we have all this on the selection we have on the selection view so let me double click once again and come to object selection and maybe i want to i want to bring one here and i want to maybe select from my from my from the model so Double click once again. I'm just cross checking something here, and maybe I want to pick on the base plate. I want to pick on the base plate here. Let me like check for the base plate. I have the base plate in place. So if I check everything here and I remain only with the base plate, let me uncheck everything and remain with only the base plate and click modify, I'll be able to have my base plate in place. And if I close that, I'll be able to see only the base plate, but we've not we, we did not include the bolts. But in this in this, in, in this particular case, we can you you can get rid you can filter out everything and remain with the bolts and get all the reports regarding the bolts. Now in this particular case, we have the bolts in the base plate in place, so we can select only the base plates by doing that by coming under selection selection filters here and pick on pick on the base plates base plates only select on the base plates only 
So if we do selection, if we select everything here, we'll be able only to select only the base plate. Though the bolts have been included, but that it, they have been bolts have been included because we did not select the or we did not map out or uh, or include the bolts in the filters. So we have the uh, the base plate in place. So you can you can create or you can get the quantities for the base plate. So if I double click once again and bring back everything I want, I'll just come under object group here and pick all and click modify and i'll be able to see all the sections of my model so in here if i double click once again and uh, you see here uh, under selection filter at the bottom end here is where we get the selection filter now at the bottom you can see i've highlighted the b plate zero one so if i select everything here i'll be able to see I'll be able to select the base plate. And the, everything that you see selected means that we did not include it on the filter. Suppose we included everything on the filter, all those, all, the only thing that we would have been selected is, is, the, is the base plate only. So when you're doing yours, make sure you map every part of your model and include on the filter so that when you, you try to I switch off, switch on, on the parts you don't want to see or on the parts you want to work on, only those parts that all those parts will be will be visible on your screen and you'll be able to get all the details required from them now if i double click once again or click you know, common selection filter here and now include all or maybe just include all and just click all all there let me double click once again and come to representation here. This is now object representation. Now I want to add another row. So on the on this new row, I'm going to define the role here under object, or object representation. Maybe I want my columns to be, all my base plates to be red. I will give it a different color. So I'm, I'll come here and, and look down for the base plate among the components that I defined. I have the base plate, the uh, plus the base plate right there, and I want to assign a color to it. Maybe I want it to be maybe a red color, I want a red color on that, and uh, I'll click on that as a base plate, or maybe a plus base plate. Just define that underscore plate. So I'm going to click Save As. I've clicked Save As. I've selected on that and click Save As. And now the rest will remain on. Will remain. Maybe we'll have maybe. Uh, we'll have maybe that color. And and I'll go ahead and click. Maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and click Save As. So the rest will the rest will remain in that color. So if I come here, select on that and click Modify. We'll try and see how this responds so that changes to that and the plate let's see whether the plate changes to red the plate hasn't changed hasn't changed to red let me just now click on this and modify and click modify it should change to red and maybe just let, let's just close that and minimize that and Try and do, and that's how you map your object representation. If you double click here and come to representation, this is on object representation. So if I click on this and click modify and give it some time to load, and I'll be able to get the information right, right at the bottom end here. It's, it, 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 it is not highlighting, but that is the best way to. To, to map out on object representation. So if I come, if you come in here and move all the way and and select everything, and select everything, and maybe you remain with the base plate only. Let me just and select that. And now I'll go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close that to keep the changes you need to save us. 
let me just uh, you want to save the changes no don't to save the changes so i'll go ahead and click modify and give it some time to respond i'll go ahead and click ok it's still not changing but that's the best way now if we come to object group here I've click on that and come to standard here and you isolate what you want to see on the screen i'll come to I'll come to main beam and select on the main beam and maybe I want to see on the sec only the secondary beam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click modify and I'll click apply and I'm, I'll be able to see only the secondary beams on my screen. So from here, you'll be able to select on the secondary beams and generate the quantities for the same. So we we'll come here once again and select maybe the palings. The palings and just check on the palings. Come to come in here and check on the palings we need the palings in place so we've added the palings we've added the palings in place and we want rafters only we uncheck all these let's remain with the palings only and we'll go ahead and click modify and we'll have only the palings we have the palings in place, all the palings in place, and you can go ahead and generate the quantities or the reports regarding the palings only without struggling so much. Now, if we double click once again and come here, and uh, maybe you want to, you want that, and maybe you click modify, apply. The object representations is that's how you define it, but. It should, it should it should reflect following the rules we've just defined and now maybe let's go back and in here and select on the parts you want to see we want to maybe we want to see maybe the rafters only we want to see the rafters only we'll uncheck that and click modify so we we'll close this so we have all the rafters in place and we we'll select on the rafters and that's it we can also come back and maybe check on the palin so maybe the rafter which rafter is this let's check on that and click modify and you'll be able to see only the rafters that we just picked so it's not appearing there make sure it uh, we have the annex rafters here just try click on that and that's not showing if it doesn't show make sure you go back and make sure it's showing and check that and check that and check that remain with those only two so if you click on that you'll be able to see we have the annex all that so you can generate the reports from the same so just always go ahead and click ok now close that so once you've created your reports and selected them you select everything once you've hidden all the balls you select on everything and you'll be able to get the reports from that particular from that particular component. Thanks a lot, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is Morris Dimba, and let's meet. Them.